The Ohio River continues its descent to normalcy tonight, at least we hope. The flooding has left a muddy mess along the Ohio. Homes, streets and parks are still swamped with water. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us live outside one business with a look at what happened inside. Brad. Well, hi, Rob. Yes, we are in California outside of Champions Baseball Academy. I want to show you on Sunday the water. It was up to right here on the door frame. All the water inside is gone. Now the biggest problem, the hardest part is cleaning up. With every shop vac bucket dump and each squeegee and broom push, the Champions Baseball Academy is a step closer to victory. After Sunday's storm pushed the Ohio River into the facility, at least a foot of water stood inside. I just went straight to tears and my mom and I hugged each other and we just said, we'll get it done. The academy is just off Kellogg Road in California. Mike Bricker runs it and says the building typically doesn't flood. It's been 20 years since it flooded this facility. Um, 97 was the last time. Bricker's oldest daughter, Hannah, and her two sisters, Emily and Olivia, they're putting in work alongside a handful of volunteers to get all the water out of the building. It's kind of more or less just like how Champions is. I mean, everyone kind of helps everyone out and everyone's just one big happy family. It's amazing to see how many of the families were, uh, you know, willing to come together. Usually January, February, March are our busiest time of the year, leading up until the spring and when they go out and start their season, whether it be high school kids or, or the youth baseball usually starts sometime in April. The academy hosts camps and private lessons, but as the turf remains rolled up and soaked, sessions will continue to get canceled. We got it pretty bad, but uh, we're fortunate to have a lot of help in the background there, as you can see. Now inside, the fans are doing what they can to dry, and even outside, some of their items are, are being air dried here. This mat's still dripping uh, with water. They do need some help. Three big things, shop vacs, shop vacs, fans, and dehumidifiers to help with that process of cleaning up and getting this back up and running. Reporting live in California, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Rob? Brad, thanks very much. Uh, all training lessons for Wednesday have been...